FinSuite's automated support service is a super handy feature built into all attribute solutions. We can just go to the website here, and if we scroll down, we see all we have to do is add a simple query parameter to our .webflow.io link. And then over here on my website, I'll bring up the address bar and just get rid of the trailing space there and have our question mark FS attribute support equals true. And if I click enter, now I get this pop-up on the right that's going to check my page for every attribute solution that exists on the page. Hey there, Web Bay. When I click this dropdown, we can see that it's already recognizing CMS filter, CMS load, and CMS sort. And if I scroll down, it's saying all these other attribute solutions are not on the page. If I click out of that and come down, we see that I have a range slider here that is not working because it doesn't recognize that it's on the page because I didn't read the documentation. Step one of any attribute solution is probably the one that I most often forget, unfortunately. But if we scroll down here, all we have to do is copy that script into our site and the automated support service just makes it really easy and foolproof to make sure that you don't forget this. So I've copied that, I'm back in Weffel here. And then if I come into my page settings, we can see, of course, I've got filter, sort, and load here, but we need to drop down our script for the range slider. So let's save and publish now. Now with our page reloaded, the automated support service recognizes that our range slider is indeed on the page, which is great. And if you click in here, you can also explain your configuration and run a further check on all of your config options for that range slider instance. And you can even click plus here and add more instances to the page. Uh, but let's move over to the filter on this one. So I'm just gonna click over to CMS filter, and if we go ahead and just leave the default settings, which means it's looking for the list instance, it's looking for the filters, and it also needs a field and value to check. So I wanna be able to sort by make, so that would be a CMS filter field, and then the element will be a checkbox. We can see we have makes over here, and if I click run check, it goes ahead and says attributes FS CMS filter field equals make in the list was not found and add it to the children list on the page. So indeed, if we come back to Webflow here and on our list, we can check in here that we have a custom attribute of FS CMS sort field, but we don't have our FS CMS filter field. And of course we want to filter by these checkboxes over here. So if I just click on the label, we can see that FS CMS filter field equals make is over here on the makes checkboxes. So I'm just going to copy this and then the value will be make and we wanna add it to this one in the list that we are filtering. So go ahead and drop that in and we'll type make here under value and then we will publish this. All right, so now with our page open, we can go ahead and see that filtering by make is working here, but let's go ahead and check that the automated service tool is recognizing everything square up. So we're coming down here. I just reset everything. So let's come into the field make here and yes, it's a checkbox and we're going to run the check again. And now we can see we get some green UI with a checkbox that says, nice job, everything is okay. So CMS filter is finding exactly what we need for this filter solution. Now, if we select the whole list, we know that this is the list that's being filtered because it has FS CMS filter element equals list. It also is the list that's being sorted and has CMS load. So it has basically a bunch of attribute solutions on here, which is great. But if we see the filter kind of parameters that we have, we also have show query equals true and tag format equals category as well as a duration. Now we can explain to the automated service tool how we intended to set up our filter solution here. And so if we just check the things that we checked back on the Webflow project, we wanted show query to be true. We wanted to have a duration and we also wanted to specify a tag format. So let's run the check now and it goes ahead and tells us that we've set that up correctly as well. So we have show query equals true correctly set up. We have tag format equal category. So that would be good telling us that, hey, your tag format value is set to category here. And then also we have a duration of a hundred on there as well. So I really enjoy using this tool on any attributes setup that I'm using. And it's so great that it's built right in. You don't have to add any other scripts and it works on the .webflow.io domain. So reading through the features, we can see that it automatically detects attributes on the page. We saw examples of that. You can explain your desired configuration, just showed you exactly how to do that. We can quickly reference documentation. So rather than going to the documentation for the attribute, we can see exactly what name and values are needed right on the website there, rather than clicking between a bunch of tabs. We can also handle multiple instances if we have multiple filters on the same page. We have our success state and our error state. Now it's important to know that this only works on the .webflow.io links. This is good because it means you'll never have this weird uh, FinSuite pop-up show up on your like custom domain. So that's a great uh, feature. There's no additional scripts. So like I said, this is already built in. 
Uh, it's available in all projects that are using attributes and it's definitely a handy feature to have this built right into attributes and we can start doing some debugging ourselves right away. Caution, failing to hit that subscribe button may result in severe low code and no code FOMO. You'll be stuck in the stone age of web development, unaware of the latest tricks, trends, and tools. Friends and colleagues might start giving you those sympathetic, you're still using that? Looks. But that's not all. You might find yourself lost in a maze of inefficient code, desperately trying to animate elements with outdated techniques. It's a dark road, my friends, and we don't want you stuck in the web development wilderness. Non-subscribers might experience sudden bouts of 404 creativity not found, causing your projects to look as exciting as a blank HTML page from the 90s. And trust me, the 90s called, they want their web design back. And a bunch of other unsavory trends as well. Yikes. Here's the antidote. Hit that subscribe button right now. Join the Bay Battalion and unlock the full potential of web flow with code. This may result in the admiration of fellow developers and designers in a boost in your own confidence and income.